Imagine a world where traffic jams are a thing of the past, and your morning commute could take to the skies. In 2026, the future of personal and urban air mobility is closer than ever, with flying vehicles that push the boundaries of innovation, design, and technology. From sleek EV tall air taxis to high-speed jet bikes, these 15 amazing flying machines are not just concepts, they're glimpses into the future of transportation. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a speed junkie, or just curious about the next leap in human mobility, this list will blow your mind and make you rethink what's possible in the skies. LEO Flight Jet Bike The LEO Flight solo jet bike feels like a glimpse of sci-fi made real. A sleek, compact flying vehicle that replaces wheels and propellers with a set of electric jets and a minimal open frame design. It's designed for a single rider, uses solid state batteries and promises quiet-ish flight, hovering just about 15 feet off the ground with a top speed around 60 miles per hour and a flight time of 10 to 15 minutes per charge. Smartly, it aims to be user-friendly. No pilot's license required under ultralight rules, and you could even charge it at home like an electric car. At a projected base price of about 99,900 US dollars, solo jet bike isn't cheap, but for a personal flight vehicle, it feels like an exciting bet on the future of urban mobility. In short, solo jet bike doesn't just look cool. It pushes the dream of zipping through air instead of traffic closer to reality. Alto Volo Sigma The Alto Volo Sigma feels like aviation's answer to a luxury supercar. Sleek, aspirational, and way ahead of its time. It's a three-seater hybrid electric VTOL, boasting a cruise speed around 220 miles per hour, a hybrid range of roughly 510 miles, about 821 kilometers, and electric only range near 260 miles. With a max takeoff weight of 980 kilograms and a design compact enough to land on rooftops or driveways, it promises incredible flexibility. Safety features like thrust vector stability, a ballistic parachute, and redundant control systems add reassurance. Price starts at about 863,200 pounds before extras putting it firmly in the elite asset category. In short, Alta Volo Sigma isn't just cool tech, it's a bold vision of personal flight, blending performance, safety, and futuristic mobility for those who can afford the ride. Ehang VT35? The Ehang VT35 feels like a bold leap toward real-world flying taxis. A sleek, compact, two-seat EV toll that blends modern drone tech with small aircraft capability. It boasts a lift and cruise design, eight lift propellers for vertical takeoff landing, switching to wings, and a pusher propeller for efficient forward flight. With a full load range of around 200 kilometers and cruising speeds of 216 kilometers per hour, VT35 promises intercity or cross sea trips that traditional urban air taxis can't match. Priced at approximately 6.5 million renminbi, approximately 900,000 US dollars plus, it's expensive, yet affordable compared with many legacy private air alternatives. All in all, VT35 feels like a real glimpse at the future of personal air mobility. Futuristic, efficient, and surprisingly within reach, once regulatory and infrastructure hurdles are overcome. Copter Pack Gen 3 the Copter Pack Gen 3 strikes me as a wild, dreamlike experiment. A backpack mounted helicopter that aims to turn a human into a one person flying machine. Its carbon fiber frame with a honeycomb structure lends its surprising lightness and strength, and with a rotor span of about 3.1 meters, it promises serious lift. It can carry up to 120 kilograms, soar up to approximately 3,048 meters high and reach around 200 kilometers per hour at top speed. But while this makes my imagination race, the lack of public data on flight time, safety systems, and price keeps Copter Pack Gen 3 firmly in the futuristic prototype box, rather than something you could realistically buy and ride today. Still, the idea of strapping on a rotor backpack and hovering off the ground? That's pure sci-fi vibe turning real. Klisarov Acro 
Klisarov Acro. Evitel feels like a dream toy for the skies. A sleek, ultralight flying vehicle built for pure fun and adventure. Its clever cycloidal rotor system gives full 360-degree thrust vectoring, making flights super smooth and agile, even with tricky sea-level landings on a yacht deck. With a compact frame, about 3.85 meters long, 4 meters wide, 1.6 meters high, an electric-powered airframe, dual joystick control, no pedals, dual screen cockpit displays, and a polycarbonate canopy. It has a futuristic, almost sci-fi vibe. The estimated cruise speed is around 102 kilometers per hour. And while empty weight is approximately 200 kilograms, its max takeoff weight is approximately 280 kilograms. Acro isn't yet a commercial product, it's still a concept. But its aim, fun, freedom, and elegant flying for yacht owners is both bold and exciting. Volanot Airbike The Volanot Airbike feels like a wild dream made real. A jet-powered flying superbike that lets one person soar through the air with a 360-degree open-air view. It weighs only about 30 kilograms, thanks to carbon fiber, and three D-printed parts, roughly seven times lighter than a typical motorcycle and uses redundant jet turbines paired with a flight computer stabilization system for effortless hovering and control. As per specs, empty mass approximately 30 kilograms, max pilot weight approximately 95 kilograms, flight time around 10 minutes, and top commercial model speed, limited to approximately 102 kilometers per hour, though prototype footage hints at up to approximately 200 kilometers per hour. On the price front, if you're serious, it comes in at roughly $880,000, with pre-orders already open for a limited production run. In short, the airbike isn't a practical commuter. It's a bold, breath-stealing blend of bike spirit and aircraft thrills, built for those who want to trade streets for skies and ride like a pilot in a sci-fi world. Cyclotech Blackbird The Cyclotech Blackbird feels like the first true attempt at a flying car for real. A compact electric VTOL with a bold new propulsion system and serious ambition. Its six advanced cycler rotors give full 360 degree thrust vectoring, letting Blackbird hover, move sideways, brake mid-air, or land precisely, even on inclined or tight spaces. At 4.9 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.0 meters high, with a max takeoff weight of about 340 kilograms, and a top speed around 120 kilometers per hour. It's designed to be nimble and compact. As a demonstrator still under development, no official price for a production-ready Blackbird has been announced. So for now, it remains a futuristic concept rather than something you can buy. In short, Blackbird isn't a practical car or plane yet, but it's a fascinating, brave first step towards a future where flying over traffic could be as normal as driving down the street. LEO Coupe The LEO Coupe feels like the flying car we all dream of. A sleek electric sky hypercar meant for anyone who wants to skip traffic and soar. With clustered electric jets, no open propellers, dramatic gull wing doors, and a compact size, about 10 feet by 20 feet, it's built to fit in a standard garage yet cruise it up to 200 to 250 miles per hour with a sex or 250 mile range. Seating three passengers, including the pilot, and packed with safety features, parachute, redundant lift jets, auto stabilization. It aims to make personal flight simple. Price is projected around $459,900 for a production-ready model. In short, Leo Coupe isn't just a concept car for the sky. It's a bold invitation to treat the sky as the next road. Zapata Air Scooter the Zapata Air Scooter feels like a dream gadget turned real. An egg-shaped, single-seat VTOL, built for anyone who ever wished they could just fly away. Its hybrid electric propulsion and six propellers give it up to two hours flight time, a top speed near 100 kilometers per hour, approximately 62 miles per hour, and enough lift to carry approximately 120 kilograms, while staying light, about 115 kilograms empty. Light enough under US ultralight rules, so you don't need a pilot license. Inside, you sit in a panoramic glass pod, 
reach out to dual joystick controls straight out of a video game, and look out over sweeping vistas. Price tags are reportedly around $128,000 to $250,000, depending on model and options. All in all, Air Scooter isn't about fast commutes or long hauls. It's about a magical, liberating way to move. It's playful, bold, and maybe the closest thing we have today to owning a personal flying bubble. Doroni H1X. The Doroni H1X feels like the flying car from a sci-fi novel. Practical enough for a driveway, yet built for the skies. It's a two-seat electric VTOL with vertical takeoff, joystick controls, and ducted fans for smooth, stable flight. On a full charge, it cruises up to approximately 100 miles, approximately 160 kilometers, hits top speeds around 120 miles per hour, approximately 193 kilometers per hour, and can complete a flight of approximately 40 to 45 minutes. Enough for quick city hops or weekend getaways. Estimated price lands near 350,000 US dollars when production begins. Expensive but promising a whole new kind of personal freedom. In short, H1X isn't just a gadget. It feels like freedom reinvented, giving you wings without needing an airport. Phantom 3500. The Phantom 3500 feels like a glimpse into the future of private aviation. Sleek, efficient, and boldly reimagined. Built by Auto Aerospace, this super mid-size business jet trades traditional windows for panoramic digital supernatural vision screens, giving the cabin a futuristic, immersive ambience while streamlining airflow. With a carbon fiber, ultra-low drag fuselage, Phantom 3500 aims to burn roughly 60% less fuel than comparable jets, a major win for sustainability. It promises a range up to 3,500 nautical miles, a cruising altitude of 51,000 feet, and a cabin roomy enough for up to nine passengers. Expected to cost around 19.5 million US dollars, with first flights planned for 2027 and deliveries by 2030, Phantom 3500 isn't just a jet. It's a statement of where air travel could head next. T, C, AB Tech E20. The T Sabe Tech E20 feels like a real step toward tomorrow. A clean electric air taxi that hums quietly as it lifts you above traffic. With six rotors, four tilt rotors, two fixed, it can carry a pilot plus four passengers, cruising at around 260 kilometers per hour and reaching up to 320 kilometers per hour. Its range of about 200 kilometers makes it ideal for regional hops or urban commutes. The carbon fiber airframe, panoramic windows, and smooth electric motors give it a surprisingly refined, almost futuristic vibe. Priced around $960,900, the E20 aims to make flying more accessible, a blend of practicality and dreamlike travel. Pivotal Helix. The Pivotal Helix feels like the tiny, personal flying machine of tomorrow. Compact, electric, and quirky in the best way. It's a single-seat Avi hull with tilt aircraft architecture, intuitive joystick controls, and a wraparound canopy giving a sweeping 270-degree view. Flight specs deliver modest but magical performance. Roughly 20 miles range, approximately 62 miles per hour cruise speed, with up to 20 minutes airborne on a charge. At a starting price of US $190,000, going up to approximately $240,000 to $260,000 with upgraded packages, Helix isn't for big commutes. What it offers instead is the pure joy of personal flight, a lightweight electric sky bike for daydreamers who'd rather float than drive. Govi Airjet. The Govi Airjet feels like a bold leap towards tomorrow, sleek, electric, and designed to make sky commutes real. Built mostly from carbon fiber composites, over 90%, it's light yet strong, with vertical takeoff and efficient forward flight thanks to its hybrid wing plus multi-rotor layout. With a top speed around 250 kilometers per hour, a planned range over 200 kilometers, potentially up to 400 kilometers with future batteries, and a rapid 30-minute fast recharge cycle, 
It aims to make medium distance city to city hops feel effortless. Inside, the OnePlus OnePlus X cabin layout and modern controls suggest a comfortable, futuristic ride. While still not for sale yet, it's under certification and pre-order phase, Airjet already feels like the kind of flying taxi many of us have daydreamed about. Fast, sleek, and astonishingly real. Supernal SA2 The Supernal SA2 feels like the sky taxi we've been waiting for. Elegant, futuristic, and crafted for everyday air travel. It's a five-seat electric EV toll with eight tilting rotors that lift you vertically, then cruise horizontally, giving a smooth, quiet ride, approximately 45 decibels in cruise. With a top speed around 260 kilometers per hour, up to 300 kilometers range, and a 90-minute flight time per charge, it's built for city or regional hops. At a starting price near 3 million US dollars, SA2 isn't cheap, but for early adopters, it offers a glimpse of urban travel reimagined. Sleek, efficient, and surprisingly real.